Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to build this Lego garbage uh, dumpster. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to build this dumpster. Okay, so here are the pieces you're going to need. You're going to need one inverted slope. I don't know why I'm shaking. Huh? <laughs> it's kind of weird, I don't know why. But, um, yeah, my hands, if they seem to shake, sorry about that, I don't know why. So you're gonna need two of those two one by two inverted slopes, or actually two by two. And then I'm trying to stay as still as I can. It's probably because I had some sugar and I'm all hyper. And so yeah, uh, one by two and inverted slope. You need a two by three, preferably all of these in green. You need a one three one by twos. And again, this is just the bottom base, not the roof part that you're not going to need all green. The one, three, I mean two, one by threes, actually three, yeah, three. Two, one by fours. You can really notice my hand's shaking. Yeah, I don't know why. And a one by, yeah, you're going to need two of those. And a one by three, two of them, uh, slopes. So now, let's get on. To how to build it. Okay guys, so here's how to make it. You're going to take your all of your upside down slopes and you're just going to put them on any base plate of your choice. As long as it's a 5 by 3, I mean 5 by, yeah 5 by 3 base plate. So two odd numbers to do with Legos, so it's kind of hard, but anyway you just put it on your base plate. If you're making a city, it's pretty good for that. You make multiples. Then you can take your 2 by 3 and 2 1 by 2s. And also, by the way, these are all used. I'm all using common bricks. So then you're going to take 1 by 4s, like common Lego bricks, except for the lid part. They make The basic bin is common, but not the lid as much. Then you're going to take 1 by 3s and just box this in so that's more of the bin part you can see now I can't really take it off but you know that's more of the bin part in there now you're going to build it up a little more and take these slants or slopes put them right there and you're going to turn around here and you're going to take a 1 by 2 put it right there and your 1 by 3 put it right there so now you are finished with your basic bin and if I can get it off the base plate here, I'll show you. It's a little hard because I connected it pretty good. There we go. It's pretty solid. You can see if I drop it, it's not going to fall apart. And I can kind of bend it a little, but it's pretty solid. So yeah, that's what you should have so far. So now let's go on to the lid. You can see again my hand's shaking. I don't know why. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so here are the pieces you're going to need for the top of the bin. Before I get started, I want you to note that this piece is just to fill in a gap. You don't need it. You can just use a regular one by one. But that's just to fill in the gap. So now on to the pieces. You're going to need a green 2x3 or whatever color your bin is. I only have a 2x2 two two and a 1x2. I don't have really any slopes like that. 2x3s not slopes. Um, you're going to need two red or whatever you want your secondary color to be. One by twos. Studded. You're going to need a flat one by two. Smooth. Same color. All these in red you can have in your secondary color. You're going to need a flat red or again whatever color. One by one. Smooth as well. You're going to need a clip a double clip or just two one by one clips, it doesn't matter. In red, you need this piece in whatever color. Um, doesn't really matter. And you need again, this is optional. You just use a one by one, but I had this instead of one by one. So and then you need a one by four smooth. So now let's go on to building the lifting roof. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is take your garbage bin, your main bin part, and just stick it on the ground or wherever you want to put it in your city or mock. Now you're going to start building around it. You're going to take this and just secure the 1x2 and the 1x3. 
right in there. And you can take your two one by twos, put one right there and one right there. And this clip, as I said, it is just a filler, so right there. And then you can smooth it off if you want to. And that makes it look a lot better. You can even smooth off right here if you want to, but I don't have enough pieces to do that because I don't have that many greens. Now we're going to do the lid. And take your 2x3 and your clip and just attach it right there. I only have a 1x2 and a 2x2. I'm just going to clip it in there. And there you go. You have yourself a completed dumpster. So yeah, you can just lift up the roof. And as I said, that piece has no meaning. Uh, that's actually on there, but whatever. You know, I just wanted that to fill in the space so it wouldn't be a big opening there and look weird. So yeah. I made it five wide to give it a better, a more dumpsterish look beside a minifigure because that's usually the size they are. They're usually that size across and they're usually this high so I tried to make it as many figure scale as I could and it turned out pretty good because it's arm's length like that then you can take some studs and just pieces and throw them in there to be garbage and you can take one out and give it to a minifig like that so yeah that's pretty much it it's complete minifig scale um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for my mock, um, dumpster. So, I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you guys can put it in your mocks or make use of it any way you need to. So yeah. And the finished product that we built is, here it is, pretty simple design, but very effective and a lot like a real dumpster whoops as you can see two by three is better than better to use so yeah fits quite a lot of garbage actually with how small it is you can fit some more stuff in there that wouldn't really be thrown away and fit some smaller stuff in that in there you can see again my hands are shaking I don't know why you can stuff it and then you can take your garbage truck and all it away. So yeah. I'll take that out. So yeah, as I said before, it fits quite a lot of stuff and it's very roomy. And as you see, it's a three by five underneath. So two odd number pieces. But that gives it a better look, as I said, to a minifigure. Better than a six and better than a four. Right in between and it's at its finest. So see you guys next time.